welcome back to another episode of Horror Night. Now tonight we're going to talk about Nagoro, Japan, also known as Doll Village. Um, so some of you may know about this, some of you may not. I want to inform some people of it. I think it was pretty interesting. Um, uh, it's a it's a village located uh, in the Ia Valley on the island of Shikoku in Japan. A nice little village out there that nearly housed uh, 300, up to 300 residents at one point. And you might say to yourself, well, what's so creepy about that? You know, a village, nice village in Japan, 300 residents at one point, something happened, right? Why is it called Doll Village? Well, let me tell you why it's called Doll Village. And, uh, well, many left um, to find jobs or passed away eventually in the village of the 300. And it just started to become a little, you know, more vacated and a little more desolate of, of people, the population as of 2019 was down to 27 I think it's even lower now um, so a lot of people had left the town um, in the early 2000s is when Tsukimi Ayano uh, came back to the village to kind of aid her her father uh, she kind of looked after him uh, before he passed away and she's the one that kind of started the whole thing to become Doll Village now her father she had made a doll of him which is like oh okay you know she made a cool doll you know like a life-size doll of him which you know after he passed away which you know maybe that's her way of coping with it and you know maybe she found some kind of comfort obviously she found some kind of comfort in that in making a life-size doll of him and uh you know people didn't think much of it but the years went on the days went on the years and days, uh, the months, days, years, whatever, time passed, and basically she kept making these life-size dolls. She kept making them. She would make them of former residents of the town that had passed away or moved away. Uh, she also would make them of visitors because people started visiting this village because she kept making these dolls, and it wasn't just that she was making them. It's the fact that she was placing them around town as if there were people living there. Since the population was so low, you could drive through there and there would just be these life-size dolls just looking like they're doing human things. I mean, imagine how creepy that would be at nighttime, walking around and you just see this doll like holding a fishing pole, you know, pretending to fish. And, you know, you feel like there's some kind of life inside those dolls. You guys know I don't like dolls. We've covered Mr. Fritz before in an episode dolls freak me out they probably freak you out too right i mean i just don't do well with dolls the dolls in the toy section at my work i freak out on you know they freaking talk you know when i pass by them because they're like those you know those lifelike dolls but um, anyways so imagine lifelike dolls made out of people you know former residents you know maybe there's a little bit of their soul left in there so she would place them all over town in schools in buildings you know by places where they used to hang out or used to be you know, and to me that's a little disturbing and creepy. At the, at the same time, it's quite beautiful because she's remembering all these people and populating a town that she still lives in. I'm not quite sure the population these days, but I'm pretty sure it's less than 27. Um, it might even be less than 20 now. I don't know. It's mostly populated by these dolls. It became a bit of a tourist attraction. So sometimes she would make dolls of visitors that, that come to the town. And, uh, you know, they're kind of... They, they're remembered there because there's a doll made out of them. I don't know how long it takes her to make these dolls. And, you know, just the fact that it's so populated. There's, last I, I knew, there was about 400 dolls in the, in the village. And that's why it's called Doll Village, guys. A village full of dolls. Now tell me, guys, would you want to visit this doll village? I myself would not mind going during the daytime. And just, you know, taking a drive around or stroll and just seeing some of the, you know, the dolls. Maybe even learning some of their stories from Tsukimi. Uh, I think her name is Tsukimi. Tsukimi uh, Ayano herself. And, you know, who these dolls are made after. But if I were there at nighttime, that would totally freak me out. Because that would just be so, I don't know, I just have an eerie feeling with a bunch of dolls staring at me. Life-size ones, nonetheless. Um, much like Doll Island, um, in, which I believe is Mexico, which a lot of you probably know about that place. I could do an episode on that, but Doll Island is um, an island in, I, th I want to say Mexico or Brazil or something. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. I have to look it up again. Where this guy 
was there and he would just hang up these doll parts because he thought the because uh, he said the ghost of a girl who drowned on the island was haunting him so he would hang up and you know dolls and just like you know body parts of dolls heads and arms and all over in the trees and the the island is just littered with dolls so there's doll island and there's doll village i think doll island is probably a little creepier just because there's supposed to be spirits involved doll village there's no uh, i've never i've heard any tales of it being haunted it's just very eerie you know somewhere to, to be like that i'm gonna show you guys some pictures too of doll village as well and see what you guys think so let me know would you go to Doll Village? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I, you know, I would, just not that night time, unless I was with a bunch of people, of course. But uh, I found this story pretty interesting. You know how she would, you know, remember the residents there by making dolls out of them. Uh, there's really no harm in that. It's just, you know, it, if it becomes a ghost town ever, it's going to be a really creepy ghost town. Imagine when she passes away, everybody moves out and nothing's left there but just. You know, decaying buildings and life-size dolls. Now that's when it's going to be really creepy. So that'll probably when nobody wants to go there. So eventually it will be one of the ghost towns, I'm sure, in the world, but just not quite yet. So thanks for joining me, guys, on this uh, pretty quick episode of Horror Night, but a tale that needed to be shared here. Um, let me know also if you've heard of this. If you haven't heard of it, um, I'm glad to share it with you. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Horror Night. Till next time, zero is a number.